of International Community School, dedicated and devoted teachers, proud parents and families, invited guests, and finally, to the impressive class of 2021. Good morning. Today is a good day, isn't it? Look at us, looking like nuns in our robes, ready to face the world. When I was asked to give this speech, I was like, eh? Who is more scared to leave this community where we are guided and governed by rules more than me? But I got myself a special someone to encourage me, so here I am. I hope I do this right. And I'll be quick, before Sadi gets the courage to raise his hand, to ask loads of irrelevant questions, just to annoy the audience. There is a universal truth we all have to face. Whether we want to or not, everything eventually ends. As much as I've looked forward to this day, I've never really been a fan of endings. The last day of school, the final chapter of a great book, parting ways with a close friend, I could go on. But I know endings are inevitable. Schools close, the book ends, you say goodbye. Today is one of those days for us. Today, we say goodbye. We say goodbye to beautiful ladies. It's morning devotion time. We say goodbye to leave the boarding house for supper. We say goodbye to them after you bathing. We say goodbye to everything that was familiar, everything that was comfortable. And in my humble opinion, our high school ride has been unprecedented. The journey definitely hasn't been an easy one. We had late night classes that went on until we couldn't keep our eyes open early morning tests that we wrote half asleep, petty arguments that left the class divided for a while, and sleepless nights whilst preparing for IGCSE and A-level exams. Just last year, our sweet lower stage was thrown into disarray by this global outbreak, forcing us to quickly get accustomed to a new way of life in school, online school, a horror story for an appropriate evening. Nevertheless, we made it out alive, and today, we stand here on the precipice of the future. The future. It's not a distant reality anymore, is it? It begins today. As we go out there, we go as different entities. Identities no more tied to the collective group called the upper cities. Like the counselor's Wi-Fi password, the world and its morals are constantly changing. But I know for a fact that the lessons we have learned and all that by teachers of ITS have given us throughout our years at ICS has shaped us and has made us well equipped to take on the real world. As we leave the gate of ICS, our future is in our hands. My, my challenge to you and to myself is that as we go, we should try our best to reach our full potential. No matter where we find ourselves, it is my hope that we stay true to ourselves. As we experiment and explore, we shouldn't lose track of our values and of the things that we were taught by our guardians. In our respective journeys, with minds as bright as ours, we will each accomplish something great, something worth celebrating. But in those moments, let us remember that man's empty praise and treasures are, that feed are never enough. We need to seek the increase with the increase of God as well. Last but not least, on behalf of the class of 2021, I'd like to say a big thank you to all the teachers for the immense support they've given us. You sacrificed time you could have spent with your family, with us, just so we could pass our exams with flying colors. From booster lessons and weekend tutorials to late night classes, our teachers have played a crucial role in seeing us here today. To our boarding house teachers, thank you for the guidance and assistance you've given us during our stay at ICS. You found ways to make us more organized and more responsible, and for that, we are grateful. To our parents, we are heavily indebted for all the support, time, and money you have invested in us. You watched us grow from the moment we were born till now, and I know you are very proud to us here too. This is certainly not the last time we will make you proud. So, to the class of 2021, I always tell Ms. Patricia that we are the best batch, but she just wants to fight me. From Krishna, we ride together, we die together. I'm not dying with anyone, but okay. But all jokes aside, I know that Krishna meant that metaphorically. We have all been through so much together, through the good times and bad, through the laughter and the tears, through all the hurdles that high school threw at us. We were able to be overcome all that together and emerge stronger and readier than ever for the world that awaits us outside of ICS. 
To say as a whole, we can be described as a jack of all trades, or better yet, a kaleidoscope, reflecting of different personalities, yet creating a unique sense of attitude. Thus, as I stand here today, I am beyond proud to say I am among the ICS class of 2021, the leaders of tomorrow. Thank you.